Gate Aerospace Academy is an institute dedicated to only aerospace engineering. We are providing various courses like Gate Aerospace Classroom Program, Gate Aerospace Online Program, Gate Aerospace Postal Program, and Gate Aerospace Test Series Program. These are our past results, and most of the ranks are from coaching classes only. New batch for Gate Aerospace 2526 is going to start from 18th February. There is 10% discount for this batch. So if you are looking for good coaching, then you can join us. The cross section of a thin walled beam with uniform wall thickness T shown in the figure is subjected to a bending moment Mx is equal to 10 Newton meter. If H is equal to 1 meter and T is equal to 0 0.001 meter, the magnitude of maximum normal stress in the cross section is in Newton per meter square. So cross section is given, right? This is C type channel. The first example of thin section in our lecture was C type channel only, and it's given in many tests also. So it is obviously symmetrical about x axis, so its centroid will lie on x axis itself. So we have to find out magnitude of maximum normal stress, right? So if we are applying bending moment, then what is the formula to calculate bending stress? Sigma is equal to m by i into y. In order to find out the maximum value of sigma, we have to substitute the value of y, that is the maximum distance from the centroid location, right? So first of all, let's find out moment of inertia i. So for this section, the formula is bd cube by 12 so it is t into h cube by 12 right plus now for this section for this section it will be h t cube by 12 but it is away from the centroid so we have to use parallel axis theorem right that will be area into square of the distance from the centroid so for this section we can write plus h t cube by 12 plus area that is h by 2 length into thickness t into this square of the distance from the center that is h by 2 square of this right plus now for this section so it will be same that is plus h t cube by 12 plus area h by 2 into t into h by 2 square right now this t is very very small so from thin section approximation we can neglect higher order term of thickness that is st cube by 12 so we can write t h cube by 12 plus t h cube by 4 after adding we can write t h cube by 3 right so this is moment of inertia so let's substitute the value t is 0 0.001 into h is 1 cube of 1 divided by 3 that is equal to 1 upon 3000 meter raised to 4 right now we can write sigma is equal to m by i into y sigma is equal to 10 divided by i that is 1 by 3000 into y that is the distance from the center maximum distance is h by 2 right h is 1 so we can substitute that is into h is 1 divided by 2 that is 15,000 Newton per meter square. Consider plane stress field given by epsilon xx is equal to 10x y square, epsilon yy is equal to minus 5x square y, gamma xy is equal to axy bracket 2x minus y. A is constant and gamma xy is engineering shear strain. The value of constant A for the strain field to be compatible is 
so we have epsilon xx is equal to 10 x y square epsilon y y is equal to minus 5 x square y gamma x y is equal to a x y 2 x minus y right compatibility equation is given by do square gamma x y by do x do y is equal to do square epsilon x by do y square plus do square epsilon y by do x square correct so let's differentiate gamma x y with respect to the x first of all do gamma x y with respect to the x is equal to we will get a 4 x y minus y square differentiating gamma x y one more time with respect to the y this time so do square gamma x y by do x do y is equal to a bracket 4 x minus 2 y now let's differentiate epsilon x with respect to the y we will get 20 x y again differentiating one more time do square epsilon x by do y square is equal to 20 x right similarly differentiating epsilon y with respect to the x we will get minus 10 x y differentiating one more time do square epsilon y by do x square is equal to minus 10 y now we can substitute in compatibility equation a 4 x minus 2 y is equal to 20 x minus 10 y a 4 x minus 2 y is equal to let's take 5 common 5 bracket 4 x minus 2 y so we will get a is equal to 5 right the state of stress at a point is caused by two separate loading cases one of them produces pure uniaxial tension along x prime direction and other one produces a pure uniaxial compression along y prime direction as shown in the figure that is at 45 degree the sum of the maximum and minimum principal stresses for the resultant state of stress caused by both loads acting simultaneously is right when both loads were acting separately so in case one principal stress was 10 newton per mm square that is positive right in second case it was negative 10 newton per mm square because of compression right and both load will act simultaneously in that case magnitude of principal stress will be same but sign will be opposite one is positive another one is negative so they are asking sum of maximum and minimum principal stress so magnitude is same but sign is opposite plus minus so if we add both we will get zero for a single degree of freedom spring mass damper system subjected to harmonic forcing the part of motion that is response that decay due to damping is known as steady state response transient response non transient response harmonic response so on left hand side it is free vibration so it is vibrating without any force but damper is there right so what happens because of the damper its amplitude will decrease continuously and slowly slowly vibration will die out right on the right hand side it is force vibration so its solution will be due to two things one is that is due to the free vibration on the left hand side plus due to harmonic force that is f naught sin omega t right so slowly slowly the first part of the solution that is homogeneous solution which is shown on the left it will die out right and then it will reach its steady state response that will be only due to harmonic force correct so the solution which was there 
before it reaches the steady state that was transient response that will ultimately die out because damper is there it will continuously reduce its amplitude right so ultimately at steady state it will have solution only due to harmonic force so the part of motion response that decays due to damping is known as transient response next question a material has poisson ratio is equal to 0.5 and young's modulus e is equal to 2500 megapascal the percentage change in its volume when subjected to hydrostatic stress of magnitude 10 megapascal is look at poisson ratio mu is equal to 0.5 so we have seen in the lecture what is the meaning of poisson ratio of 0.5 the material is incompressible so if it is incompressible percentage change in volume will be zero right so since poisson ratio is 0.5 material is incompressible and hence percentage change in volume will be zero